Coming off an awesome Envy Showcase, I'm sitting here with Josh Fig, the great and powerful Josh Fig, the man behind the curtain of the Envy Showcase. These boys in are all hustle. Gigs, <laughs> in between gigs at one of his favorite uh, watering holes here, the T-Bird Lounge. So could you uh, give me a little overview of the of the Envy Showcase and the House of Blues and how it all got started? And... Well, it, it's been around for a minute, so I wasn't the creator or nothing that great. So uh, Holmes Poozer. Um, who used to work at House of Blues. He has just left to go take on new ventures, but he started it back in the day and he's brought in other promoters like Mark Hornsby and then myself took over about three years ago. And before it was ticket-based, much like most concerts are, you know, you sell the $12 tickets, you try and bring as many people going on there. So we were averaging about three to 400 people on those shows, which is all well and good, because three to 400 people enjoying local music was definitely a great turnout. But for the venue itself, you know, we want to maximize it and try and, you know, double and triple that. You're starting to maybe even open up the top tier at some shows, I, I hear. Um, well, that's our goal. I mean, we, we were able to do it at one when we had a tribute band, the Clash of the Titans. So our goal is definitely to get up to the top, but we've been almost to eclipsing a thousand people. So we've had many shows that were seven, eight, nine hundred, and our, our kind of average right now is about 850 now. So that's an incredible upgrade from what we were doing before. So many more people are being able to turn on to local music, and it's just benefiting pretty much everybody involved. So it's, it's been very nice. Speaking of getting people involved, like what advice would you give to local bands that are trying to get involved in the Indie Showcase? Um, really, number one, just represent yourself well. Um, use all your free avenues up and make sure that all your music is represented, your shows are represented, and just have a presence. You know, there's a lot of bands that'll take the posts and say Facebook isn't reaching out or Twitter doesn't, you know, and just all this other negativity instead of just promoting their bands and just keeping up to date. Because people like me, we go to your page and we look and see if you're actively posting every day and you have music posted and it's easy to access where you're playing next and you're actually updated on there. I can't tell you how many bands still, when I book them on a show, will not update basic calendars or their website and other basic shit that's stuff that's you know they can you easily i can say shit yeah. okay it's my favorite word by the way but other basic shit that they they should be utilizing because it's all free just have a presence and consistency it just makes sense. even when you're not playing have a presence use all your old work even if you lose a member still promote something on there because resetting is always horrible for everybody. are you seeing that happen always but I mean, progression? I, I see so many different bands, it's, it's different for every artist. It's not really the same. So, I mean, some bands will just do it and they'll go to a point to where they have to start making sacrifices, whether to tour, pay more money for recording, do simple things like that to where it takes them out of their comfort zone. So that's where bands will, auto, will lose a lot of their steam and it happens to almost every band. Where would you like to see this thing progress to, man? I mean, what's the what's the goal? Well, obviously we want to get to the higher level with uh, you know attendance and things like that, but I want to see these bands start becoming headliners in their own rights, and I want to see them become the killers, the panic of the discos, the slaughter, the hemlocks. I want to see them become the next wave of you know great music coming from our city, and I, we have so many great bands right now. It's just a matter of keep shining those lights on it and getting getting people that go to like strip shows and more concerts in, involved because a lot of them don't want to go to bars but it's got the potential to do whatever it wants to you know it's just a matter of people following through i think doing i think it. it'll get there i feel like it's going to get there yep. just from the way that things are going right now I, seems. opportunities from when i started you know we were a very small valley when i started you know 10 years ago even you know just seeing how the expansion not only on the strip but all the local places that are catering to music now and, and it's a great time to be in it and everybody's got to support these bands got to understand that they got to get out and they got to support each other yep they got to come to each other's shows and, and build a fan base and you, and you still as a band you still have to do the old school stuff to where when you're going to supporting other bands at other venues you have a pocket full of flyers for your next show or a cd you know those are the old school things that still actually work you know that human element to where you're still connecting directly with people it's it goes a lot longer than or a lot further than most people give it credit for it so we just wrapped up an awesome Envy Showcase back in February. Yes. What can we look forward to for March? Uh, we have March 27th coming up. We have our headliner, Wretched Sky, who's been blazing up every show that I've been throwing at him. So um, them, Circus Sick, who's been in the scene a while, Dim, Double Barrel Diplomacy. Um, we had to replace some bands because we moved it a week, but we have uh, within the Cochle, what's supposed to be cochlear i think that's the term whether it's like the hearing and the thing it's it's really awesome when you look at it but within the cochlear cochlear 
cock layer. I think it's cock layer. Cock layer? They're gonna love this. And uh, <laughs> now I forgot the opener, Someday Broken, which I have worked with for pretty much about eight years now, on and off. We've had a lot of rocky roads, but it's glad to see them fucking persevere and get over, you know. Nice. And they're still doing it. So. And that goes back to the same thing about you work with the bands that are working for you, that are working hard. Well, I don't need them to work for me, I need them to work hard for themselves. Exactly. Because they benefit when they work hard for themselves because, you know, they're representing it. So nobody can push you harder than you. And, you know, all I could do is support and use my avenues to help you what you're doing, you know. And I can't push you through those doors. I could just say, here, here's opportunities. So, but with Envy now, it's, you know, bands are realizing their potential and they're starting to get, you know, they're starting to see what could happen and what could be done with, you know, a little effort and sacrifice. The word is getting stuff. out. Spreading like crevice, I'm telling you. I highly suggest you go to Facebook, your friend Josh Fig. He has two profile pictures, you can't miss it. I have a lot more than two profile pictures, but I have two profiles. A friend of Josh Fig <laughs> is a friend indeed. You won't miss another local show, I guarantee it. Thanks for sitting down no with me. Appreciate the Thank info. Thank you. Envy Showcase, check it out. March 27th, House March of Blues, Mendeley Bay. Well, of course, we're on Facebook and all the Twitters and the Instagrammies yeah. and everything else. Go to so. Facebook, add him as a friend, Josh Fig. You won't miss another local show, I guarantee it. There's two profiles of me too, so <laughs> depending on which one you add, you get the flavor. Best profile pictures too. Thanks, man. No Thanks problem. for sitting down with me. I totally just wiped my booger too. <laughs> oh, <Man>. nice. <laughs> Maybe redo it. So, the greatest way to end an interview ever. <laughs> Are we going now? Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. I highly, Can we get the highly, for real? highly suggest you go to Facebook. Boogers make you crazy. I don't know, the booger threw me off. I threw it back to the Will Edwards show? Go back to the Will Edwards show. Boom. I threw it. Do I do more than